Hello and welcome back. Here is an interesting challenge. How can we clip an image non-destructively to a group of objects in Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer? Let's have a look on this composition. I have a visible piece of text and a background. I also have an image I would like to clip to this text. Let me enable this image. Clipping this image to the text will be fairly simple. I just need to set the image as a clipped child layer of the text by moving it inside the text. The image is now clipped and only the visible pixels from the parent are shown, which is exactly the text. Now it becomes interesting. Suppose I have a second piece of text or an object. How can I make the image clip to both of them? There are a couple of ways of doing this non-destructively so we will still be able to quickly and easily modify the text. First, let me move out the image from the first text and then group the two text layers. The idea is that the image we used earlier should be clipped to both layers or in this case the group we just created. If I put the image inside the group, it just shows up, as the layers in a group are not clipped. So what can we do? Well, one option, and probably the easiest option, is to use the text group as a clipping mask. I can move the text group onto the icon of the image in the layers panel. The text group will become a mask and the image will be clipped as expected. This works quite well. There is, however, one big disadvantage. I cannot directly modify the contents of the group anymore. Suppose I wanted to add another object to it. I will first need to move it out so it becomes available for editing. Now I can add my object to it. In this case, a circle on top of the letter O. Once I'm done, I will need to move it back as a clipping mask. Even though this works, it's not ideal. Let me share with you another method which does not have this disadvantage. For this, I will use the Erase Blend Mode, which Photoshop users know as Knockout Layers. First, let's put our group with the objects out of the image and group it with the image layer. In this new group, I will go to the top group containing the objects and set its Blend Mode to Erase. The Erase Blend Mode will remove, or in other words, erase everything below based on the alpha values of the base layer. So in this case, the objects in our group will be erased from the image below. As you can see, the end result is not exactly what we wanted to achieve. Actually, we wanted the opposite. We want to keep the area with the text and erase the areas without the content. To achieve this, we need to invert the area of the group so it will erase the areas without content. How can we invert the alpha? The easiest way is by using a Curves Adjustment layer. So let me add the Curves Adjustment to the group. In the Curves Adjustment dialog, I can now select the alpha channel. Inverting the alpha is now very simple. We just invert the alpha curve, basically flipping all the alpha values. Everything transparent now becomes non-transparent and vice versa. Awesome! Pretty cool, isn't it? Using this method, the group we want the image to be clipped to is directly available and I can easily make modifications to it. For example, I can add a pixel layer and brush on it. You see immediately the end result without dragging layers around. This is especially very helpful when you're fine-tuning your design. So there you have it, two methods for clipping non-destructively on a group. Let me know in the comments which method you like or use. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe buttons. Keep safe and until the next video.